I'm getting a lot of emails and a lot of phone calls and a lot of people that are concerned with genetically modified organisms. And everybody's confused on, on what is genetically modified and what is a hybrid. So I just want to assure you that what we are growing at Dave Wilson Nursery is in no way, shape, or form a genetic modification. What we're growing at Dave Wilson Nursery when it comes to pluots, apriums, nectoplums, all of those Zager hybrids that we just absolutely love and promote all the time, these are not genetic modifications. These are varieties that are a result of hybridization where they're taking varieties within the same species. Peach, plum, nectarine, apricot, almond, even cherry, they're all related species in the prunus family. So they can all be grown compatibly together and they can all be cross-pollinated by, by pollinization done in isolation so that you can calculate the varieties that you're working into the cross and, and do those hybrids for an attribute. They're looking for early fruit, they're looking for larger fruit, they're looking for flavors, they're looking for uh, varieties that have the ability to hang on the tree, they're looking for disease resistance. So all of these hybrids are done for a purpose. It's not just, you know, let's cross this and this. It's like, well, this one is going to give us a bigger fruit and this one is going to give us a later ripening season or an early ripening season. So let's put these together. Let's cross pollinate these together by taking the pollen from one, pollinating the flower from another, calculating that cross, planting out the seedlings from that tree, and then looking to see if the results have been achieved. So it takes years. Hybridization does not happen overnight. Almost every Zager variety that's on the market today has taken at least 10, maybe 15 years, some longer, to achieve the right crosses and make sure you have the right combinations that you're looking for before they're released. So a lot of work has gone into this hybridization, but it is in no way, shape, or form a genetic modification. Nothing has been added to these hybrids that wouldn't already have, have happened had the, the plants had an opportunity to overlap in nature. So we're not putting any trout genes or moose genes into your plum trees. It's all within the same family, within the same species. So feel confident that these varieties are safe, they're not genetically modified, they're good quality fruit, and they're absolutely delicious.